futuristic video on Clash King. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to this channel. Feel free for tips and tricks regarding Clash King. You'll get all the necessary data and details for each and event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, we're going to discuss about the complete manual of magic book guys we are going to discuss that what are the different attributes that is being possessed by magic book what are the different tricks to get the best of the best magic book unlocked apart from that we are going to discuss some of the additional tricks that can increase certain number of attributes at your total manual guys so this complete overview of magic book can help you gain a better experience with the magic book so that you are able to unlock the best attributes over there guys so let's begin the video without wasting any time let's start with the basics one if you talk about where you are going to find out the magic book for that one you need to visit out your college as you can see over here first one is the magic house here you are able to unlock different number of chances to get some of the shards for the magic books like this there is certain number of events which come to time to time about this special event for the magic book that can give you certain number of keys for unlocking the slots for the magic book at present that event is not being activated so i am not going to give you the overview of that particular event it is a time limited event certainly comes around in two to three months uh, once in two to three months so it is something a rare event like that in that particular event you used to use the advanced crystals to get certain number of useful shards keys and some of the rare magic book elements guys apart from this guys the basic one can give you some of the basic power elements that can give you around uh, level one level two and level three magic book elements it can be easy to grab over there for the power of chaos or the advanced crystal globe is being used for getting the power elements of rare quality around level 5 or uh, level 4 or level 5 magic book elements can be obtained from the second the advanced one and 1 to 3 level of magic books can be obtained from the basic crystal globe guys so this is about the basic thing now let's move to the another one that is our magic house uh, book guys there are five different kinds of magic book each of his kinds is having two different proportions one is for the defensive one and second one is for some of the other element guys so we are going to discuss about the basic of each and every of these skills so that you can get overview that which skill you want to choose on basically i have seen people choosing the fire of magic and the wind magic because both of them can give you certain number of damage skills the fire magic is going to give you the uh, all soldiers unit critical rate increment including the critical damage increment while if we compare with the blessings of the wind it is going to increase the damage guys yes guys it can increase the all soldier unit damage by certain percentile let's start with the basic one the ice magic ice magic the defensive ice one can give you a peace shield activation if you are able to forget your shield and you are not online at that particular one if a certain of enemy is powerful than yours then a automatic shield for certain period of time is activated on your castle automatically you don't have to worry about that particular one. it is something like a defensive protective spell if we talk about the second magic book that is we are having over here is the freezing of water it can increase the troop attack it helps you to freeze enemy troop by certain percentile for certain rounds guys so this can help you to uh, dismay or to make the opponent's troop unuseful in the battle at a certain percentile let me tell you a basic thing guys much more number of level of the skill like defensive ice one is here if you are going to for the defensive ice five you are going to get the maximum number of time you can see p shield activated for 30 minutes means more the level more the increment in the skill apart from this much number of stars that you are having on much greater the attributes you are getting going to get in that particular skill okay means this 30 minute can key can be increased much more if you are able to unlock all the five star for the defensive ice five these are the basic thing i don't think i need to explain that particular one for you guys now comes the second the blessed list of fire i already take critical damage and critical rate and uh, 
critical damage uh, then come burning of fire it can increase the deal burning damage to the enemy troop by increasing by 20% and burning damage equal to 18% of the damage of our troop so basically it can increase the damage to the opponent troop in the burning form if you are able to plunder it successfully then comes the third one the call of light can give you certain number of increment in the soldiers all soldier unit defense on this particular diff increment in the defense is being effective for the rally and non rally hit guys <laughs> then comes the rebirth of light it can increase the troop attack having uh, it can increase the revive percentile of certain one if you are engaging in the battle so you can save more of the troops by using this skill when you are going for the solo hit guys now comes the dark shadow dark shadow skills can increase certain number of amount to the maximum troop amount means it can give you additional of the dark soldier added in your account or your march just for free when you are hitting the opponent troop guys so it is like a dark army added to your own army and it is really very beneficial guys if you are going to use it wisely now comes the second one the dark counter attack it can increase the troop attack by 2.6% to fight back to them so it can increase the fight the counter attack of your troops as compared to the enemy troops so this skill is going to increase the counter attack feature for your troops when you are engaging in the battle now comes the fourth the blessing of wind increases the damage uh, damage deal by certain troops all of the troops then comes the dodge of wind can increase the one increase the enemy's dodge rate attack okay uh, so it is being effective to, uh, for increasing the dodge of your troops when you are being on a rally or for the solo hit guys so these are the basic introduction of these particular one now comes another thing there are two different upgrading method one is the awaken method okay you can see over here one is uh, the awaken one and one is for adding stars okay these are two other difference one okay uh, means if you are going to add star it can increase the uh, skill that is being holding by the particular book like you can see bloodlust of fire 4 it can increase the 1.5 percent of the critical rate and critical damage by 80 percent so this this skill if i am going to increase this particular skill then i am going to add star for that particular one okay but if i'm going to increase the attribute boost at that particular one i need to upgrade this one and the awaken feature will help you to increase it to the next level so these are the two different things guys a adding a star can increase the passive skill of the book and for the attributes boost increment you have to go with the awaken feature because it can increase the level of upgrading this particular book like at present i'm having 31 but due to the awaken feature i have plus one awaken means i can increase this particular skill to level 40 also guys so this is the real difference between the upgrading and awaken feature so don't get confused guys both of those things are being compulsory and is being needed for the increment in the attributes now let's say this is about all about the things like books different books different stats being possessed by different of the books for my recommendation i must recommend for the offensive battle and the defensive battle the blood bloodlust of fire and the blessing of wind are the best of the books available out here apart from this you can use the dark shadow also if you are going to go for a siege hit on the solo basis guys it is being effective at that particular one also now let's move to the another one that is the manual feature guys i many people got confused that what is this manual is all about let me tell you that much more upgrade you are going to go with the much more upgrade that you are going to go on on your books guys more the attributes you are going to get because each book you can see over here you can see over here each book can give you additional attributes like infantry attack max 1.6 percent can be obtained from air cavalry attack max 1.6 archer attack by 1.6 percent siege engineer attack by one like this each and every books can give you certain number of attributes and these attributes can help you increasing your overall attributes 
of your castle so that's why the manual can give you certain number of other attributes you can see over here gallery total bonus it is written at the bottom all soldier unit defense i'm going to get over here is 27 percent but max i can get 39 percent from here all soldier unit attack 22.5 percent max i can get 45 percent all soldier unit hp i'm getting 11.5 percent max i can able to achieve 20.5 percent offensive damage maximum 16 percent offensive damage reduction maximum 18 percent maximum stamina i'm going to get 50 defensive damage by 20 percent defensive attack by six percent i can able to get 15 percent max maximum mass took can be increased by max five percent hospital capacity by five percent five thousand sorry uh, defensive hp by five percent defensive damage reduction by five percent defensive damage by five percent Reduce critical damage 50%, critical damage 50%, non rally offensive damage 5%, and anti critical rate increase by 3%. So these are the popular ones that you are able to get much more a, a number of stars that you are going to get over here, much more increment in the gallery total bonus that you are able to get. So basically, this bonus works on the number of stars and how upgraded skill you are having on like this you can see over here uh, like rebirth of life i am having one star if i am getting all the five star it is being added in the gallery total bonus dark counter attack i am having two stars if i am going to maximize all these three skills rebirth of light dark counter attack and dodge of wind to the max of five star then these bonus can be added in the gallery total bonus like this it is much more developed your books will be much more attributes you are going to get on the manual basis guys so this is all about the magic manual guys i hope that you are being clear about these things what are the skills what are the effectives what are the attributes and what are the benefits that you are going to get over here can be obtained from here guys apart from this on the wearing feature you can upgrade the slot by using the keys i have mentioned in the starting on the video about an event that can give you huge number of keys from there you are able to get these slot keys apart from this much better first one you are able to get the maximum of the level 5 quality the defensive wise is 5 okay at present i am using out the blessing of wind 5 for the first position and the second position i'm going i'm using out blood list of fire 3 so this is about my popular castle guys i hope that you are having better on your castle i wish you luck and that's all of today's video i hope that you guys really like the video content if you find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers from thank you guys